Hi guys, this is Heidi at the Middletown Senior Center, and today's project is going to be a um, mirror etching. I don't know if you can see that on the screen right there. So it's coming in a pizza box, which is kind of fun. I don't need the contents. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open the box, and we'll see what's inside. I'll just pitch it down so you can see better. So inside the box, we've got some um, disposable rubber gloves, three. Um, battery operated tea lights. This container here is etching cream. Be very careful not to get this in your mouth. Paint brush. Um, I have three stencils in mine. Um, all of the kits are going to be different. So um, just because you see what I'm holding here doesn't mean that this is what's going to come in your kit. Um, so just be ready for that. Um, Handy dandy directions. And underneath here is a mirror tile. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cardboard out of the way. And first step always in these projects always, always, always protect your surface. Um, this etching cream, once it does its thing, you cannot undo it. So be careful of where it lands. Um, you might see that my surface is well loved. This is a piece of paper that I've used many times during, oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> during our crafting experiences. I didn't realize I was going to have such a great view of my many chins, you know. Yeah, that's, that's great. Okay, here we go. Um, so the first thing it says protect your work surface and your clothing. Um, I've already got stuff on me. That's typical. Um, make sure that your mirror is clean and dry before you begin to uh, lay out your design. Um, I put fingerprints on mine, taking it out of the box, but um, at home, just make sure that uh, it's clear of any dust or lint or debris of any kind. Um, and I've got some fingerprints on mine, but you'll, you'll want to get that off, um, get it off with some paper towel or something. Here, some regular um, dish soap or glass cleaner would work. Okay, so here we go. We're clean. We're ready to go. All right. So then, the next thing you're going to want to do is just kind of review what you've got as far as your stencils are concerned, and decide where it is that you may want to put them on the glass. So I'm thinking, you know, I'll do three corners. Maybe leave one corner blank. So, you know, just kind of lay it out and see. Oh, God bless America. <laughs> this is it's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so now we've got uh, <laughs> we've got those stencils on the mirror. Um, and then you're going to remove the backing from your stencils. These are self-adhesive um, stickers, basically, that are resistant to the etching cream. So what's going to show is obviously the parts that are not made out of this brown plastic material. So it'll be this flower design that comes through um, with the use of the etching cream. Um, this, I guarantee you, is the hardest part of the entire project is removing the sticky backing removing the backing from the, um, the stencil itself. That's the hardest part. So I, um, I went ahead and got them a little bit started with the peeling before coming on camera here because you don't need to watch me fumbling with that. Oops. So the next thing you're going to want to do is place your stencil down and kind of just run your hand over it. See how it's kind of buckled? You don't want the buckles. You want all of the wrinkles and buckles to be pressed out of the design because it will it will affect the outcome, and your dis your design will be distorted if there are any bubbles or buckles along the edges of the stencil. Just run your nail over it or press down real good. There we go. Give it a good 
good. This is so awkward. I'm seeing myself like from too many different angles at the same time. Second one, cute little daisy shaped flower. Put that offset over here in the side. Again, pressing down to make sure there's no bubbles or buckles along the design. And the last one is a ladybug, which I love ladybugs. I sometimes refer to, to people as, or ladies, women, as ladybugs. Um, That one down here in this corner. And we're ready to go. All right, so all of my stencils are down. Get all the odds and ends out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rubber gloves at this point. I needed my fingers, my dexterity, in order to um, peel stencils and put them where they belong, but now I want to protect my skin, my fingernails, my jewelry, because again, if this stuff can eat through the surface of glass, it's going to hurt your skin, your nails, and your jewelry. All right. So then you'll have a paintbrush in your kit, and you just start um, applying cream to the open areas of the stencil. You don't have to be super precise with this, but you wanna make sure that you're not getting the cream anywhere outside of the design that you want. Because it will be yours to keep if that happens. So I'm just kind of filling it in as if I was painting on a thick layer. I don't know if that translates well on screen here, but I'm just giving it a, a thick layer of um, etching cream in all of the open spaces. This stuff is super fun, and as you can see, I'm going to have quite a bit of this stuff left over. Um, and you can use your stencils multiple times if you have, you know, wine glasses or um, clear glass dishes or something that you might want to decorate either for the holidays or for a gift. Um, you can reuse the stencils that have been provided in this kit or there's certainly enough of this cream if you felt like going either to um, a craft store like Michael's or AC Moore, Joanne Fabrics, one of them. Um, you can pick up these stencils and uh, use the remainder of it. I'm not even going to use a quarter of what's here to do this whole project. So there's lots and lots of uh, extra cream here for you to do another project. Um, I was looking on the internet and there are so many cute ideas for this. Um, there's wine glasses and dinner plates and um, larger mirrors and, and sayings, you know, if you like to do nice quotes or something, or people's names. You're, the possibilities are truly endless with this. really make one-of-a-kind items, custom items for friends and family. It's a fun, it's a fun gift idea. I don't know if this is something for young kids to do. I mean, a lot of the crafts that we do are things that um, you could do if you had like grandkids over or whatever. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how young you want to go with that based on the fact that we are using a, um, the edging cream that could be very, could be damaging to their skin. So you want to use a lot of adult supervision, not something that you leave the kids to do on their own by any means. Oh my, getting a little overzealous here.
Last up is my little ladybug. I love ladybugs. They're so chipper. Happy little things, aren't they? And they're very beneficial in the garden. They will eat aphids that came to destroy my honeysuckle this year. Between the heat waves and the aphids, my plants in my yard have taken a beating. saying 2020 is the year that just keeps giving, doesn't it? Just keeps on giving. Alrighty, almost done. Just got a couple more ladybug dots to fill in. And then what you do with this stuff is, you know, you got to let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes so it can work its magic on the surface of the glass. Um, so we're just gonna let it sit and um, when I'm gonna put this on pause for a second and when I come back, I will have taken this to rinse it off. I'm not gonna do that on camera because nobody wants to see me standing in a sink rinsing off a piece of mirror. Um, but so I'm gonna go in the other room, rinse it off, and bring it back and we'll peel off the stencil and see what else we have here. All right, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are, we're back. Um, I just went in the other room and rinsed this off. So I basically, oh God, this is awful. I um, just stuck, I turned on the water, let it run at a nice heavy stream and just put the, the corner each corner that I had the, um, the stencil in underneath the direct running water and allowed that to um, wash away the etching cream. Um, so the next bit is going to be seeing how it came out. Oh my goodness, all of these different angles and stuff. Um, go, go ahead and take off your rubber gloves because you've removed the etching cream. Um, and now comes the fun part. I'm going to try to um, put these back on the film. That way they can be reused. One. You want to pull them gently because you they do tear if you are too rough on them. And if you wanna be able to reuse them, then you definitely don't wanna yank them too hard out of shape or, you know, tear the more delicate bits of them. Yay, success. So, bring this up to the hammer so you can see each of the designs and how they turned out, okay. Pretty cool, huh? Um, and then the next step, if you wanted to be extra fancy, would be to put your tea light on it. Let's see if it transfers onto the, the video, but you get the point. I'm trying to cover up my own face here so you can't see me. <laughs> um, but anyway, super simple, lots of fun, great craft to do. Um, like I said, this stuff here, we didn't even use one quarter of it. So you could do probably another 25 projects if they use the same amount. Um, you probably could have coated this entire mirror a few times over if you wanted to. If you wanted to get that uh, busy with your design, you could do that. So anyway, here we are again. Um, I really hope that you have a good time when you do this project. It is super simple to do, um, but again, you wanna protect your area, protect the surface you're working on, and uh, put the gloves on when you're starting to work with the etching cream directly so that you don't end up you know, uh, with a chemical burn on your skin, affecting your nails, or um, destroying any jewelry that you were wearing. Have a great time doing this. Please take pictures and send them to us. We love to see what you're doing out there with all this stuff, um, and it really helps us to feel good about, you know, what we're doing and how your your project comes out. We like that. We like that a lot. 
So um, hope that we see you again soon. Please stay safe and be well.